to you probably a few times this game. Right now, it's left. just Jellison to defend, so he's probably going to back yeah. out here. Well, I was kind of hoping he was. I'm a little well. nervous he's stuck around this long. The flash is there. He's He's been caught. I, and I was going to compliment him in some of those previous games. He played it really well of knowing when to peel away, you know, trying to hold that space as long as he could. But maybe outstayed his welcome there a touch, but still. Plants in. CGN. Time on their side. See what the retake's going to look like. Already Element happy to take a challenge on CT at least for a second. Sits a little deeper on site. Most of them sitting on site here. Three of them posted as there comes the flood. Straight through CT. Element lovely shot towards it. Oh, that's Ooh. stunning. Respect the one way off the back of the ult. Yeah, they're going to try and go for this with the complimentary jet smoke there as well. Benny needs to take space, but I love the paranoia. Oh. I love the staggering. The Pacific are able to do completely unaffected by Benny and the ult and the rest of the... I, I just get I get nervous and Pacific are a team that are going to make this difficult but this is a big opportunity again a site with only one player on it Paranoia goes in and I, I prefer what we're seeing at least from Noita here is just slipping away sitting deeper safer on towards CT no need to give too much up Spike planted. this reclear though the, the drone was used over on that B site and right now Pacific is looking to catch him off guard catch him on the rotation but they weren't able to find it so here comes the retake they pop that null command 5v5, element. only element on the site to hold. Yeah, but I like this play in the cage. is lovely, but overwhelmed. Loiter really heads up clear. Element's gone down, but can they pressure that back line? Can they start working towards that defuse? The next big question coming in. Loiter again clearing it. Oh, the, the Pacific side is so sharp. They're so damn good. It is just a wipeout. Probably, but it doesn't matter. <sighs> yeah, true, 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 true. So we're going to be seeing Benny going in at the moment, basically being a shock dart, clearing out the trips. Traps cleared and well, bye bye. But they're on the site. So, oh, that's not great though. Element going down is a bigger problem. He's not going to be able to be resurrected here. The flash through the smoke is fantastic. Benny going to take away one, but it's the pre take on the site. The pressure from Pacific is outrageously good. As Anguish, well, yeah, you're pretty far away. You've just shot. And um, I, your spike is, is, is currently surrounded. High lows everywhere. This would be a miracle. 5 HP. Have you ever seen the Anguist 1v5 5 HP clutch, basically? You know, non 20 down... sometimes come back is taking it off there. When they see a lot of alts online, maybe they set up a, tr a play for that. But the other thing they like to do is here as one... well. On the tap. Oh, he's actually going to just take dry contact on that element. Just warts in up. Smart. I, I've, yeah, I feel like they were still considering that Benny would be going for that ult orb, trying to play off the back of that. But actually, a nice little bit of a look there coming out from element, punishing that expectation. Middle. I think Benny spotted comeback and doesn't want any piece of this right now. He just wants to escape with his life. As a five on four in the favor of CGN, this is the first time they've had a real advantage here. So just picking the right site to go to and finding that second opening. This is maybe potentially the third round that CGN is going to be able to pick up here. They do know that comeback has that operator and he was close to middle. So could be Ooh, nice. on one of these lines at B, so he's gonna they're gonna approach this very diligently, but already, yeah, going for that flank instead. But you see Element holding that knows yeah, this yeah, mid yeah, push yeah. is possible. Come on, I've seen the oh, oh! Um, he tr tried to dodge the under yep. it, oh dear oh well, dear oh it. dear it's all gone wrong as element just gets leapfrogged over ignored and put aside his comeback he didn't even look back he looked back for a second but can element save them he got them the first he needs to get them the last two here half achieved on the diffuse and element trying to play that corner trying to toy with him a little bit chip away one more bullet and now on the reload this is where it gets a little bit more difficult smoke goes in trying to go for the spam rock still has to start going for this one time Time, there it is. Element. This time, <laughs> you actually. Oh my god. Oh, a leg. He legged him, but it's not enough. Element's still alive, and once again, starts off the round. Haven't really been broken at all by CGN. Any of these shock rounds. Shock darts to deal with it now. They're in a little bit of a pickle here. Yeah, already you're going to see them struggling to find those steps towards the site. Now, for the second time of asking, they have to make a go of this. Right here. Hero still just. Posturing in the smoke. We're going to see mid pressure coming in eventually. That is from Element. You're going to see the eventual approach from Rock, but it's Loiter. Backline found. The turn of the eyes. And Pacific again. That so is so tough to be in. Necessarily a good look, considering he has been.
Yeah, again, impactful go. from start to end. Able to isolate Loiter on that. It looks like a repeat towards kind of sight, but it's a huge pick. Patience pays off in middle. Catching Rose, this is much better, but they have yet to claim the site. The spike is still left deep down by spawn, Josh, and there's still a lot to navigate and get past, but Anguis exactly does clear B finally. Real winning situation here for CGN. Pacific actually choosing to save here. They have a lot of economies still, and it's the second to last round, so definitely they could go for this attempt and still be able to play out the next round. So here, yeah, that's where that decision comes in. Wait, 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 we actually can do this. They still haven't even planted. So they're coming back as a two on four. It's gonna be very difficult to break through here, but full utility for Lorak. Operator still in the hands of comeback. And if they're able to make someone peek out, get a little bit curious for information, that could be the way in. That's and a start. That's, that's the raid boss removed. That's a big shot though. Anguish there from the back lines playing by Pillar. At least denies comeback. Nice push up from Lorok though. He still knows there's a player on the site. His knife revealed it earlier. He knows that Vince is around here somewhere, surely. Or is it Davi at one point? I think it was. So he's going to try and get half. Has like comeback the is here. Three players. The paranoia ready. The spray is good. Comeback now unleashed. Loiter goes forward, but it's come back to be doing the damage. A third? Absolutely. Comeback makes it all his. Four and eyeing up the fifth against gets stolen. this time and time again. As it stands, they've managed to get past Element on a real godsend of a bit of timing, but smart work from Davi to check on it. But sadly, they were already in the door. They were knocking on the door and they're through. And it's Anguist okay. who's the one to stop it. That's perfect. It's allowed Element now to come back through towards site maybe there is a chance to save this round as you can see element prowling and catching gets come back puts him down it's a 2v3 this is not out of the realms of reality but it's certainly still within touching distance for cgn the dash out it's a fast retake waiting oh, for that like flash it. yeah there it is flash comes in nice clear from benny even on loiter a 1v2 Pretty close the gap to the site, high and low. Can he isolate a fight? He can, but it's not easy. Pushing up a little bit closer. This timing could be feast or famine. The flash is fantastic. Good damage, yes. but overwhelmed. And nice from Vince, though. The smoke's up in play. Exactly Old's going to come down, though. So Vince could be in a bit of a tricky situation here. Yeah, trying to buy his time, but I'm surprised he stuck around. Could have backed away there. Could have given it up and maybe tried to play for the retake with the rest of the team, but no. Opts to try and stick around. Jellison as well, still with a little bit of utility to make it a little bit more annoying for that playback through from CT. 4v3, Josh. 4v3, locked out at that choke point. But no one holding the Loida. Only with 22 HP, he's going to do it by himself? That's so risky. A lot of faith Jellison in this man. He's just sitting on his camera, but the flank coming in from comeback. Oh, it just feels almost unfair, doesn't it? It feels cruelty in action. Ah, uh, yeah, it's... it's Feels simple. It's looking like a fast execute here as well. Vince probably going to back out of the site this time. Yeah, he Respect the confidence do. on the previous round, but oh. Uh, well, there was a time to leave and it passed. Now, Benny knew better. Benny got out of dodge. Elman getting punished from. Oh, Loiter, these shots. Just being the turret on the top of the site. The confidence now overflowing. This was the first gun round. A fast, pacey, simplistic approach towards A big works, issue, and that's a big gun. Maybe that will fix it. Nice start from Element. Does he get away with... Oh my god! Come back desperate to try and close the gap, but Anguist, all too aware, keeps his teammate of Element safe, securing the top side. But still plants there. And a deep plant towards CT. Run it back, available, and they're going to use this. They need this round clean. Keep the economy trailing by five. They're staying postured up on CT. They've seen the barrel there of the gun. Big clear oh. from Benny. That should be a follow up, and it is. Leaving Loiter. I mean, this guy is good. Does get scanned, though. Really tricky in the defuse. The plant was on the backside of site. Not going to be able to get around that. Comeback's like, all right. But Element's angle is so good. That nice to play in here. They have a lot of util to play with, Josh. This is still very much an up in the air round. Feeling more comfortable to retake the B site. Their defense is all the way towards A. So right now, still 100 security in play for the attackers here. They're going to get that spike planter, no problem. They're going to reset, but Larocco goes down. Ooh. I don't think they're going to be able to pick him up. That's they're an easy ping to. spam. You'd think so, right? But he's back on his feet. 
and they have 4v5 and loiter just happy to try and take a body with him if he can already rose gonna be posting the ult down i don't know if that's called a tag here but Jellison has already defending the site. Good trade. CDN still have the numbers. So you're looking at the shock dodge. You're looking at what remains, and it's nothing. Ang this is your turn. Hard to hold them back, though. If they continue flooding this, the, uh, the, the flash doesn't really deny you much. And comeback's already closed the gap. Gets cleared by Vince, though. Site stays his and gets a follow up. Benny's been lost, but the cavalry's here. And maybe oh. Vince doesn't need it. Four huge kills. Perfectly played. Even a rock in a 1v3. And it's not going to happen. He's basically Siege. disabled. Yeah. Okay. Exactly That's a different start. We've been generally seeing those entries working for Element. This time, it's comeback. Now, let's see how they respond to the site. You can see Ang we're still looking for a chance here. Does anyone get pinged? Anyone revealed? You're looking at the Aldrome coming in. Need to get a tag on that. Yeah, it's already around the corner, so Anguis can't quite close down on that kill, but he's been a real threat from this position. And they're desperate to get this pressure on CT. Wait, the timing Chris Loiter. I thought he could have had that then, but no, traded again pretty well. 3v3, but time is on their side. Deeper post plant here. All three players playing from this side. The fuse started and not stopping. Gets it to half, has to fall away. Gets revealed. No kills, though. Still anyone sort of around here. Larock does remove Anguist. Six. Fuse denied. The very last second. And Davi, the time's going to start really ticking against him here. He knows it. And he can't quite close it. Uh, as it stands, he is on the right side of the map for where the spike is. TP committed. Lloyd has gone for it. Oh, an outrageous attempt there. But I don't think they saw it. I, I'm, I'm waiting to see if Element sticks around on this. I think he will do. Davi's here, Anguis is here. They don't know how close they are, but there it is. Davi spots it. That's a very aggressive fight, and they've been rewarded by all of this. CGN taking some risky engagements, and they work out perfectly. One enemy remaining. Keep him coming. Yeah, this is... Aggression, Please. though, is the name of the game coming out from CGN. And Benny does get punished, but the trade. Davi this time with the operator, the one to take away comeback. But it's a one for one trade out. Two operators up on the defense side. One of them surely going to get over to A, but the double trips, the camera, they're fine to play that retake at the moment in Pacific. I mean, you look at the mixed buy here. Two Vandals, a Sheriff, and a Stinger. They want to re-hit this B site. They're just waiting for one of the operators to move away, but you have to look. Okay, there is a switch up. There is, yeah, he's got the operator. He's gonna take that beeline again. And this is so scary to walk into. If you're Pacific right now, if you're a fan of them, walking into this right now is scary. He's got his dart back on as well. Does he save it for potentially the retake? Oh my God, Loiter. The spacing just close enough on the swing and it's Rose to send the ult from further away. Maybe trying to isolate. And that's a good tag as well. They're just catching, I think, Anguist. And now we're into a 4v3 advantage to Pacific. How do they break this deeper positioning? Element still standing. The danger man on his two feet. Anguist there. He's been packing a punch over towards A, but difficult positions to pry them out of. First attempt on the spike, and they've caught Element. Now the follow-up. They're going for it, and they've got it. Pacific in the final hour. Able to get across the line 13 to 11. You'd think. site will support through market but element quickly i mean uh, come back um, you know element was very much there and uh loiter gonna be cleared through but uh, at this point we're starting to see the numbers sitting pretty comfortably for cgn starting to get a good couple of steps towards eight 30 seconds left the rock here would have to do something phenomenal to get away with this. Trying to isolate a fight on main. It's not going to work out. Benny with a good shot. CGN have been clean on their pistols. It's been something that it looks like they've put some work towards. And, well, Jellison and Rose going to try and make something out of nothing. I should have not noted, I think, Element at minimum this point. But he actually gets up pretty far. But they baited a little bit. But look Big. at what it does. Sent to the slaughter. Rose could be rewarded with one. Vince going to go down. Spam again. No further follow-up, but this is a show of strength already. This is going to make it a lot harder to hit these sites. Look at Davi. Look, he's all the way up the garden. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Huge, huge work, though, from Loiter. They've got to know now there's another in towards middle. They've got a good idea of where these players reside. Apart from Davi, who maybe could do wonders. Let's see. Anguish just trying to toy with them. Keep all oh, that. The 
heads up work from Shellis in there to turn around and check on this. I to even fight. consider the chance. Perfect. Zanguis now. A 1v3 needed. And for Laroque, you can just readjust towards main. You can play that corner. He knows that the time's not on his side. So he plays the timing right. Anguis forced to go for a safe plant if he can. Oh, this is such a hard position to play out of Anguis here. They're yeah. going to know. They're going to get the smokes and everything ready for to deal with this. But I, I quite like the adjusted uh, trip as well from Sellison. Already going to be putting that over towards market. And that's just been either removed or taken back, but still makes it trickier. Feels like they've got their good read here, but 25 seconds is getting very late in the day. And Element looking for a reward through middle, and he doesn't get it. Laroc clears him. Quick through cap, they try and make the damage happen. Shellison's gone down, but Pacific's still holding the line. They can't get out through main. The choke point is being absolutely strangled. They come up with a plan. It's a bit of a default here, Josh, just getting the feel of the map. Spreading the wings a little bit. Getting clipped. This is, oh, being an Astra player is horrific <laughs> sometimes. It's like, it's too complicated for me. I'm a simple creature. Uh, Davy though, does get to slip ahead. The double stack still works out, though. So they've been rewarded for that position, that proactivity towards A main. And, well, the paranoia, yeah, a little early, but it's fine. It gives them that safety to take this angle, to control this map as they have been doing. And those trips are still in play. So they have to give away the game wherever they want to go. Pacific are going to run their attack side. Kind of in the same 1-3-1 one, one split a lot that we're seeing from CGN left. here as they try to make something work in this two versus four. Crossfire with the Odin on site. Well, maybe they could isolate Rose. Right here. But I like this swing around through Cat. I, I actually really like that. Being proactive maybe, but you know, backing yourself, calling your own number up. But it has given CGN an opportunity and the opportunity is dwindling. Loiter closing in now. Benny, you gotta go big here. Has Util, has a Flash, has the Wall, has the Molly, has a lot to play with. But they've already gone so close. This is where it gets dangerous. They now know Flash is good. Can he get a kill? Not yet and not at Dude. all. <laughs> True, yeah. You my know, bad. Is... <sighs> see some flashy jet plays. I, 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 I got a little lost. And I may say lost in the source of Element Keys doing this. Loiter just gets absolutely backhanded. And they found a new way forward. Straight up cat. You know, we don't like the Cypher. Cool, we'll just go to the other side. Oh my god. The Rock is still so nasty, but they have numbers here. And these fights, they're risky. And now we've got a 1v3. Gelson is going to be noted over towards Cat. Very or over towards Short very early on. Clearing up through past Tree. He knows there's a good few on site, but he has no idea if someone slipped through towards Main. If someone's late wrapping Heaven. So many are not. There's one. Oh, paranoia. <laughs> CGN, beautiful. Rewards through middle. Rewards on site. They've had everything they wanted there. You couldn't ask for a better start. You've taken away two of the impact players, the one-two punch. But there's quick rotations. This isn't as simple as it's over just yet. A divide going through as well. Plenty of ults invested here. Maybe a pop flash, but Vince is controlling it well. Takes away Rose. Towards tree. They've shown a little presence towards being I like that. That draws over the additional body, but the whoa, timing whoa, whoa, whoa. is... Oh, uh, oh. Oh. Josh? I've witnessed something I shouldn't have seen. That was very unpleasant. That and now was very problems. brave. I like it. Uh, you yeah. like that one, dude? That's the one you're into? Yes. All right. For, you know, Respect. masochist. <laughs> and now four players pouring through. Oh, dearie me. I thought that was going to be the perfect paranoia. But Vince may be close enough or simply just in a line, saw the traces and got the damage. But a 2v3 is far from impossible. There's Lorock starts working back through. But Element's position is strong. But Loiter gets the trade. And now the plant. Look at the HP on Vince. He's down so damn low. 11 HP. The timing, gorgeous for getting closer. That's a horrible feeling. The door's being broken. You knew they were towards main. Luckily, someone managed to slip through. Who was that? Actually, getting towards site was Rose. Very surprised. A good flash, though. Should have completely blinded Shellison, but they didn't check it. Could have had a little glimpse there. Maybe eyes drawn. Big ult. Time now running low. 10 it's seconds. Wide. Come back. Pierce through the site. 10 seconds and counting. They are running so low on time here. Loiter can close in. They don't even need to. The spike was a really dropped. nice approach to this. And playing it well. You're looking at an element up against comeback head-to-head -head on Cat. Again, over towards Tree here. Potentially Loiter. 
Gonna have to evacuate sooner rather than later. Oh my god, Element. A labored spray, but he's rewarded. And on the second glance, not gonna get the third, but Loiter is now in a bit of a pickle. He's got players left, right, and center. Rose has slipped over. Do they expect Benny to be here as well? A deeper angle, but Rose finds the reward as the re-smoke towards main. The paranoia primed. And, and, and if you're looking at Sellison, he's still got the camera towards the middle. He's still got a trip towards that B site. They're going to astral well across the site for the plant. They were thinking about it. I'd have preferred that. Rose they might still, still do it as a fake to slick, slip mm. up Cat and get the backstab. Does Rose turn attention away? The, the, the silence feels deafening. You feel like they're up to something, and now they know. Anguis gives it away. The split push towards the site. Loiter looks towards Short Seas 2. Now knows that they've been split to pieces. Loiter looking to try and focus towards that tree side. Paranoia goes there, but what do you do with this? You're kind of stuck here, hoping you could get one, and you can't. Now Shellison is, is, is locked out from this in more ways than one. Divide in play. Lockdown ticking through. It took a... <laughs> He's such a can of mid straight away. Benny. They've already cleared that question mark and they've caught Benny for it too. Anglist. Also falls. Three versus five. They have weapons. But a, a Bucky on a Rose. But instead of going into the site, they take Garden here. They're forcing the fights. They're trying to. But now look at them just held back by Treat. Rose getting curious. Element waiting. Oh, sharp as hell, Element. So nasty in CGN, playing this so well. You thought they were caged, they're not. Jellison, the only one to keep them alive, but Vince is the one. To hopefully tip those scales for CGN here. The rock down, so desperately low, three HP. And Vince, no subtlety about their approach, deciding to sit towards hell. Unsure of the next step. Can rock quietly do this? Still got a flash. Still got a knife. And he goes for the drop yeah, and he's been... Looking for that four out of four pistol around here. Let's see. They've been on it before. And they do it again. Already anguished. Oh, bloody hell. Six HP ain't much. And I don't think anyone's saving you. No, Rose was hungry for that kill. Beautiful follow-up as well. But Element quick to work. Gets on in and gets on out. Jellison, I mean, coming alive a little bit. Really starting to hit a couple shots here. We're looking at Vince and Benny. Vince already noted. Benny, though, taking steps, taking strides towards the site. We complimented the likes of Element before. Likes of Comeback. He's up there. Benny doing absolute bits. Loiter, though, this position is going to chip away. And they know Lorock's on the site. But it's a nuisance. It's a problem trying to deal with that back line. Benny still desperately going for it. That should be. Loiter's going to try and somehow close the gap in time. I don't know if he can. He'd have to already kill Benny. And yet that one's done Good for. Is, I, I, need to get put, I hate to I'm going to get put back in my cage. But we do see a four spy, so I'll pay attention for now. Does he get what he wants? CGN sitting deep, expecting a little bit of pressure through from Tree. But Element, it's, again, Element is always there. He's omnipresent, it feels like. You can't get away from him. And this time, Benny with a one-two punch. This force by has, uh, they figured it out. But in the meantime, while all this was happening, that little bit of a, a show over towards A, it is pressure up middle. But again, eyes on the spike. That's still pretty far off, and they have Anguist hit. Playing very deep, perfectly done off the back of the turret contact, I think that was, but beautiful work from him. Cunning anguish. Shock also forced him to move, assisting that fight. It's, I, I just feel like Pacific just don't look like the team we saw on map one. It feels very disjointed, but for now they're playing as four, playing as a pack, just pouring in towards that A site. They make it past element and they got the site. I don't say under control, but they got the plan at least, right? The pre-take should be denied here. The molly Ooh. from up top, Benny, this time sends it to the right spot. And already out. Peeking towards heaven. Two players towards Jen. Stunning shots from them. Element wants to pick up that A line and send one of his teammates over to pick up that flank from gate. He wants Ooh, to place this lockdown. He's waiting for the commit. Yeah. That's that was the goer. Do they force the issue or do they fall away? A TP back site. They're out of there. It's on if Benny gets interested. It's, it's a risky play. The HP is low 
on a lot of these specific players, you're looking at Comeback, Rose, you're looking at Laroque. Chelsea even took a lot of damage here. It's Vince who's now smoked off, has to respect this, and loses information on short, and it's a re-hit back towards this B site. There's a Molly still on lane as well. This could be deadly, especially on the HP. Good stall here. Buying time. They need more than time, though. They need to land some of these shots. Laroque already breaks on in. Davi overwhelmed. The Pacific sticking the landing. That is exactly challenging. Fair play to come back to try and pick that one up again because Element has been winning until then. It's a 1-1 one -one trade up, but they lose out on Loiter here. Smokes for a jet. I know what trade I'm taking if I'm on the attack side. And it is uh, keeping my <laughs> smokes online. It, middle surely has to be used, otherwise breaking through this choke point is going to be incredibly difficult. Still, though, a second player in wine. Oh, the high flash and the swing is so nice. Look at this work together. Maybe not a set piece of the... This has to be a monster hold. Yeah, this is really tough for them to be able to do. Do they clear Boathouse? Well, no. Okay, Loiter going to go down, but it's traded quickly. Anguish then leans out through stairs, but it's traded, and that's it. That's site one. That's so difficult, and now there's so much time and so much space they don't know about. You've already got comeback looking towards middle. Already playing a little closer towards this. Maybe feeling they've already taken over that mid space, but no, they were just on that late rotate back through. Doesn't need to overdo this and gets punished on that. Two on two. Yeah, game back on. Maybe a little Jim unnecessary as pistol. Vince. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm worried when I see this now. Let's see if Larox learned his lesson, or does he start creeping towards the stairs again? Underhand flash, probably there, but that's going to have to be a gorgeous flash. It had to have caught two. He's trying to find some refuge no in way. the smoke and suck the landing. We were worried about this map, and rightly so. The real error with this one. But let's see if Anguis can actually control it. Going to be overwhelmed eventually from the util, but he still has players by pillar. You still have Davi here. You still have, I mean, yeah, smoked off towards market, but Elman can disrespect that if he wants yep. to, and a running gun works. That's fine. Denial on the plant, though. That could be huge here. Makes things really tricky between Rose and Chelison. He's now just down on one. Flash. And a quick kill. You're looking to see what he can get out of this. Already noted on the camera, too. 30 seconds left. Going to hear Vince, though. Uh, Vince, I, I need you to be on point for this one. Gets a little sketchy, but as the observers are highlighting, the spike not planted and very much down deep on the site, and time is brutal. You can't really stop closing the gap. Oh, and I guess it's a round win. There. Yep, there, there it is. There Perfect. Thank you, observers. Dizzy's flash. I can't say what we really call it. <laughs> we must. We must never speak of these things. Um, but we're into the bonus here. CGN. Uh, gonna have to try and work uphill already. First pick found and comeback going down is a little bit of an issue. Benny, dirty little angle, but surely gonna be traded off. And he is back and forth a little messy, but hey, it's a bonus for Pacific. They're already happy. You're already doing serious damage. Maybe a plan here. Wingman doing his job, but Vince, picking up Loiter. This is, I mean, devastating for Pacific. Maybe Laroque can do something wild, but you're looking at the timing on Element as well. And, and Davi's just trying to keep his attention. Just look at me, look at me, and he actually gets up the map. You can do flanks on B or A. It's a very strong. Pacific can do this. Yeah, they certainly can. Anguish has been so good at this as well. But the pressure through market's always difficult to handle, but he does have support from Davi. But at this point, you can see the pressure on Pillar. They're trying to play through that smoke, trying to get him down. I like that. This is nice. Learning on the fly between Comeback and Jellison, figuring out how they want to try and take and pressure this B site. And in a round like this, impressive considering the purchase. You're not seeing pretty weapons here. You're seeing stingers, odds and ends, guardians. Alt then on top, though. That's from Laroque. Should at least catch one, note one. May not have seen Benny, but Chelsea checking on it. Gonna take him down. Again, Vince and Element work cut out here, but this is... Very good way to come through that HUD. Ignore it. We'll uh, hopefully get that fixed up for you. And it looks like rinse and repeat. They found a solution. This time, I want to see how this works out, though. There's still problems here. Element going to find comeback here. Plant is in, though. So, a small victory in that regard. And they all fall back towards B main. Welcome to Sunset. The question is, can they pull this off, though? Can they break that back line? Already Vince looking for maybe a different way forward, but the timing's going to be... Oh, Wait, to get your gun out. Get your gun out. Loiter went the for a stroll and back. found something terrible. And you're right, the paranoia is huge. 
And it does, I think, at least catch one, I can imagine. But they're fighting the site so nicely. CGN really controlling this well. I was a little worried after the site take itself, but... Playing for the retake here. Or? Don't say that. I mean, that's a bold play. What? Oh and you can my. see why. He stuck around. He got three. Felt like maybe he should have fallen away from that, but felt confidence. And was rewarded on it. Got one. Now down to two. I don't know how they're going to try and make this work. Limited on utility. Bro, I can't really lean back in in that regard. So you're looking at the guns in hand. You're going to need a big couple of shots and Benny already clearing one. Got Rock left in a 1v3. And yeah, not going to happen though. They're adjusting and you're right. It does just seem like these five-man hits. And Anguist probably still feeling pretty confident here. Still sticking around the side. Does now need to respect that. Can't stick around with that ult coming in. But he's not giving them much space. He's re-cleared market. He already knows that he's got, you know, room for his team to come back through. He's doing really well at controlling areas on this map. But within another post plant now. Five on five at that. Oh. They clear again. again. Anguist. Pacific. Yeah, again. CGN. Anguist is such a good player on this. I, I can't highlight it enough. And maybe played into a little bit. Maybe Pacific needs to be a little bit sharper on it. But by all rights... It's down to two. LaRock and Chelsea again flashed up, forced away. Half's there. CGN in the driving seat in this game. Maybe they're trying to pressure towards that A site here. Again, Vince, got to be cautious. Uh, there's a lot coming towards him. But a nice approach again from Element. Decides to stick the fight on one side and gets a punish on two. An isolated fight, no trade. Pacific looking pieces, Josh. What is happening to them? They're getting hunted nice. instead. Oh. I mean, I'm sure the money's pretty solid for CGN at this point, considering it's really about is how bad do you really want it? You've got a chance to go and make it into those studios to make a real career of this one and come back already going to find, oh. oh my God, Element eviscerating the one perfect start that they had. The one beginning that looked clean. And it's still a 3v2. It's still in favor to CGN. The Rock and Rose play together, find something together. But LaRock on his own on the site. Rose sitting a little deeper towards B main. Individual fights, and this time they're being won. Even just Benny. To clear back through this obstacle course. Wants to get a start on it. That's already going to bring out the mosh. Force him off. Does get half at least, though. How are you meant to get past these last two? Very difficult. Good flash. Could certainly help. But inevitable death clears so much. Surely there are... Hello? Well, well, well. Okay. Fair enough. You get a free pick towards market. Pretty sure he got spotted over towards tiles earlier on. So I'm surprised they lost track of that one. But still, 4v4. And Spike is pelting it. Now, for this to work out, Justin can't go down. If he dies... <laughs> uh, it's, it's a little dangerous now. You can see the loiter now trying to take back that space. Find some security. That's dangerous. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Josh, <laughs> what is going on? You tell me. Oh, you're the analyst here, man. Help me out. The oh, rest alive. We got... Play by play. Got... <laughs> oh, I don't know if it is alive. It's falling to pieces. we got fights everywhere. One now, Vince, clean it. One player, really. Okay, they go fast with that showstopper into a site. It's Benny. He's going to get away here narrowly, but it's going to be a 5v5. And the thing I look for, though, is the fact that Pacific. Oh, they're going to be a down man. I don't know. Again, you're talking about necessity. You're talking about walking smokes. Three. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, hey, this is the time where you want to tune into a mini or a sliggy, because if they're not telling you this is desperate plays here happening, mistakes happening, they'll be lying to you. And I'll tell you, they won't. Shell's the last one alive and CGN have been given this on a plan. I've been through it. But for now, we focus. It's not over. We bring our minds back into the game. Pacifica, three rounds. It's not much, but it's it's how they were losing is the bigger problem. That's why we're actually worried here. But look at this approach. This pressure through top middle. I love it. This is so pretty to watch. It's that's Now, I mean, whether or not it works out for them is yet to be seen. Yeah. The Rock could be a problem. We've got pressure now coming back through. I like what the idea was from Pacific then to maybe take some space back towards kind of a main a little. But they're not winning the fights. And now they're down in three players. Loiter, Chelsea being called out here. Now they've won the fights on the extremities pretty much. But Element cracks it back open. And they dash straight over towards B. 
This is the type of stuff that Pacific needed to do on their attack side, exploit that middle, make the defense feel very uncomfortable. Anguist, he had a free B site, everyone coming from in front of him. He never had to check behind him at all, all game. And now, about to go six for six in pistol rounds, Ooh. unless Loida has anything to say about it. Let's go. Sure, sure. It's, it's 1v2. He's got two smokes still to play with. That's tricky, but it's, it's not impossible. Heard a step on CT. Maybe. Ah, he's, he's lost track, but a great shot. He knows where Vince is. But the plant is for Vince, and Vince should be able to play this to the time. I have. Cover going out. Oh, I didn't get it. Yeah. Being set well. into motion. That's going to be Jellison in a little bit of a tricky situation. It doesn't pop the cage Nose. either. Opting to just try and slip a little forward. Quite like what he's trying, but uh, again, this Dude, is... It, it's, it's, it has to be huge, and it is! Jellison tries to do as much as he could there. Gives them at least a 2v3, but you look at what they've got left, Josh. It's a Sheriff and it's a Stinger. This is tough. Second force spy they've done. And disadvantage. Ooh, but a nice yeah, fight. yeah, but the HP now, that's the problem. And you don't get clean kills with a stinger at this range unless you're from North America. And Comeback knows that. <laughs> I mean, for an MVP, for a big player, the one that a lot of people are scouting, 5 to 13 here, and you, you compliment his ability to find space in other maps, how much impact he has, he's been pretty absent in this one. And on the other side, CGN as 5. Working well. Gone here. And there's no opportunities now for comeback. And I think he knows Damn X it. stations. They're on the wrong side of the map. And it all falls down to one. Loiter is about to have to go basically 1v4 with a sheriff. That's it. You, you don't have support coming yet. Can't fall back Loiter either. Loiter trying to creep back. It, it lost all space. They're just they're ga Loiter left. gambling that no one had crept through by elbow. They were, no one went through top middle. Benny does eat the paranoia there. And actually the one way still in place. Loiter giving it a damn good go. Holding on to this one. The flood's here. Trying. And actually, comebacks now made it towards the side. 10 seconds. Pacific showing resilience. And now forcing Davi to hit a save. There's no way else to even consider it. Wow. That was... Doing these four-man stacks. They're starting to set up the traps. Yeah, speaking of right here, right now, the aggression being the answer, and it's rewarded. Two big picks. They can fall off this if they want to. They don't need to outstay their welcome. They've got what they needed. Perfect start. Davi trying to find space in towards top middle. Punish that control on the extremities, and he might be rewarded himself. Takes away Rose, and now suddenly we complimented exactly the likes of Loiter before for being that one-man show, but now it's going to be on the likes of Jellison, who's on the run, trying to find some safety to sit towards as they carved some space for themselves now, Josh. Oh, this is bold. I like it, though. A minute to play Maybe with, expecting him. Yeah, in a different position. Of the back of the reveal. Nobody. Didn't know about Davi, though. The plant's going to be the there. Flank. Anguist. Oh, my God, Anguist. The timing. The classic. And there it is. Upgrade found. Suddenly, it's game on. Big shot from Loiter, though. Removes Anguist. They know Davi was the one to plant, but he finds a 1v1. And this is all he's wanted. Shock Dark goes in. Five more seconds on the reveal, but still wants to stay gun in hand for now. Loiter stepping forward. The hero from the round previous has to put on the cape once again. Oh, my God. Back. It absolutely is. And, of course, on the other side for CGN, they'll be feeling sky high. But there's ults here still for Pacific. They still have opportunities, and they're still going to try and make a count. Larrock doing well. Everyone finding impact. They're still clawing into this. Vincent Davi, it ain't over yet. You haven't crossed the line. And this trying to swing off that. Do they try and fight back the space? They do come back trying to clear house. And he goes down for it. How's he fallen? How did that not get... What on earth just happened? Down to 70. I don't even think he had shields. I think there was just 30 damage. That's unbelievable. Swat it down. Four versus five now as well. Oh, but look at Rose trying to make monster plays and gets punished. One by one, they're falling. Trying to be the hero today. And it's not happening. Loiter, the rock, Jellison, the three to try and keep them in this one. TP 
There's the info. There's the rock. To once there you go. Again, keep them alive. Pacific showing what these individuals could do, but they're not out of the woods just yet. Vince, Davi, still here. He's got TP if he feels like he can use it. He's taking a little bit of a walk away, at least towards B main, and now he's getting all kinds of trouble. Davi detained, and the pressure building. Vince with a connection, and now just down to one loiter. With it all to do, the weight of his team on his shoulders now. A CGN showing resilience here. Even around you didn't feel possible, and it's done. C